Listen to me. I am a voice that proclaims. I am a voice that speaks. I am a good voice. And I am a good voice. I have I have a voice to speak. What kind of news did John say? He used to say that make your path straight. Make your path straight. Make and prepare the ways of the Lord. And make the path straight. And wherever is not straight, make it straight. Where there are mountains, make it into a valley. It is your time to make change a mountain into a valley. It is your time to change the mountains ahead of you. It is time to remove the mountains ahead of you. It is your time to fight against the storms that are before you. It is witchcraft or those that are against you. And those who hate you, it is your time to change the mountains. It's your time to change it. You have to change your ways. You have to change your ways. Because he said that all of those that walk in the flesh, he said those who walk according to the flesh, those everyone with the flesh, everyone in the flesh, will see the salvation of God. They will see his goodness. They will see the goodness of God. Of God. What John was telling the people is what? He said, uh, repent. Repent. And once he said that, since the time of John the Baptist, his king, everyone's fighting for the kingdom of God. Since John said that, when people are fighting for the kingdom of God, if you're lazy in the world, of God, you need to know that people fight for it. Because the Bible says that those who put in effort will inherit the kingdom of God. We need to know that the written scriptures are for us. Look at God and fight for the kingdom of God. If Elijah was among the others, if he, had, if he was to remain where he was, if he was to remain where he grew up in, People wouldn't have known that there is a God in Israel. They wouldn't have known that they have a God in Israel. But it was a must for him to go to the mountain to stand on that mountain. What did he do on that mountain? He went to show who God was and he went to fight against the, um, the servants of Baal. And he went to fight against the, uh, uh, the uh, Ash, uh, Ashton. And he went to fight against the false prophets. They are false prophets. There are people preaching the gospel in the right way. Many false prophecies. Many false prophecies. Sometimes the people give their time to listen to false prophets. Those are false prophets that are standing up in these days. You need to be aware and listen. Because if you don't know and you don't know the truth in the Bible, the Bible says that Elijah stood on the mountain and as the servants of Baal were speaking, Elijah said, maybe your God is asleep. The God that we believe in does not sleep. He does not sleep. He does not live far. And Elijah said, let it be known and there was fire from heaven and all the sacrifices that were there were burnt and all the servants of Asherah died it is your time to fight against the servants of Baal there is no one else to help you there is no one else to stand in your place no one else to stand where you stand it is you who need to fight against Baal 
remember you need to show who ni God wewe is nyine. it is only you we were given this time we were given this time we were given the gospel the gospel to set free the gospel of forgiveness the gospel of peace the gospel that brings salvation to others and if we don't give salvation why are we here? if you can't bear good fruits why do you come here? if you don't know how to control your life why are you here? Uh, those who came before Jesus they were all they were all um they were all useless people. They were not they were all people that were not worthy. But when they left Jesus' sight, they became clean. Which means that if you can't be before Jesus, you need to change. You will change. Um, the purpose of the uh, gospel is to change. And if you're not changed, maybe you can go back home. To what, is, what does it mean to change? It's to live your old ways. Live your old ways and, and come, become a new creature. What is the new creation? Uh, the Bible says that those who know Christ and are in Christ, they become new creations. We become new creations. The Bible, that verse means it says to proclaim the year of acceptance the, the grace of God we have many things to say to people and may God help you truly you are a preacher if you believe so if you accept it. What I'm telling you, and this is the truth, that we cannot change yes, is that Jesus is coming back. Yes, that Jesus will come back. And somebody asked me one day, are you in a spiritual church? There is no spiritual church. The spirit lives in us. The spirit lives in us. If they tell you to go in the church, that church that there is a spiritual church, look at what's inside you. The spirit lives in us. And the spirit of church, the a church of spirit, the spirit, a spiritual church. It's really hard to find. But you can find a spiritual person. Are you understanding me? You may find one spiritual person. But you won't find a, a church that is just filled with spiritual people. What I'm telling you is this. If the, if the spirit is not in you, don't say the church does not have the spirit. If the spirit isn't in you, don't say the church does not have a, the Holy Spirit. But if the spirit is in you, the people say that ch the, the church has a spirit. Why? It's because the word says, don't you know that you are the temple of the Holy Spirit? And the Holy Spirit lives in you. I look for the Holy Spirit within you. The spirit of happiness. The spirit of generosity in you. Rick Warren is a man who is a man who is a there was an author called Rick uh, Wally, I think. America. He's an American author. He's written many books. But he wrote one book with, um, with, a, with a life with a purpose. Have you read it? Let me say the, uh, pepe, uh, the uh, purpose one of the purpose. 
iyi bitekerezo bidakora He said that if your thinking isn't right everything that comes will distract you Musamara niko bivuga ikije cyose distraction everything will distract you Nimbura umunebwe If you are a lazy person Wabaye umunebwe mu bitekerezo Maybe you are lazy in your thinking Nimbura umunebwe Maybe you are lazy. No It's because if you are a lazy person, it's because you don't use your thinking. And to work, people think that it's to work and get paid. But you may work. Things, you may do something and you'll be rewarded 10 years later. Kora kazi uzohe buganyo mai miaki chumi. Do whatever you can and you'll be rewarded after ten years. Ako kazura kazi. What is that what job? Ora kazi. Do you know what you need to do? Kura wangu gakeka. Bam. Koma koma angi zemgari muzo vigi shani. Since you've made me a teacher, I'll teach you. Kuvera kuko bantara ba nemge. Because people are lazy. They're not working. Their thinking would deceive them. They think it's a normal job they normally work in and get paid for it. But that's a lie. They don't they don't build a plane in one month and finish it. You don't they don't finish it within a month. It takes years. The plans that we're going takes years to make. But that's plans. Let me give you a job. If you see people are getting paid and they are happy, Take your time and teach your children. Teach them well. Teach them the good things. Do you listen to me? Let's teach our children. And after 10 years, we will sit and our children will get paid. And we'll eat some of that money. Because we worked for it. How? By raising them right. We put our energy and in caring for them. So that they can reach whatever they need to do. They need to reach. They need to reach whatever they desire to reach. They need to, to reach a certain place. Are careful your young daughters and sons. God has made you a teacher over them. One, time, one, day, one day they will share, they will become teachers and get paid. And you get money as a result without going through a long process. But because of not knowing the grace of God, some people say, my child doesn't like going to school. That's the children they're talking about. They're sitting together. And others are at school. And they say, my this child does not study. And the fathers will say, and maybe the sons are sitting next to them. Maybe it's a 12-year-old. And they're sitting together. And the father will be saying, my child is not able to study. And the mother will be laughing, saying, yes, they can't really study. And they will say, can you look at that? Do you think they are, they are blessing that child? They have foolishness together. And that is why the Bible tells us that, uh, that God saves us from foolishness. If you don't listen, there are things we need to do. That will be rewarded in 10 years time. That will be rewarded in 10 years time. If I take my son and force him to go to school, and even... Um, Discipline him to go to school. Tell him to go to school. 
and he will study. Maybe his mom doesn't know English. And I don't know English. I'm his father. Serge and my son knows it. And maybe in six years he'll finish uh, primary school. Maybe in another six years he'll finish high school. And then in another four years he'll finish university. Uh, and maybe after three years he'll finish his master's. And maybe uh, in another three years he'll finish his PhD. When they get a job, how much money will they have? How much money will they have? Would he eat it by himself? Are we not going to share it? Let's put in effort that we need to proclaim the year that God has um, accepted us. Don't focus on your influences. Um, it's not that surrounds you. But being in a developed country, you need to be number one. Let me give you a testimony and then sit down. I went to Nairobi. When I reached one of the towns, I went to one of the pastors called John. I don't know if you know him. We were very happy with our pastor. And he said, uh, and then he said, tomorrow I'm going to take you to my mother-in-law. And so we went to his mother-in-law. And when we arrived, uh, we saw her, she was in a big gate. A gate as big as this church. He said that that gate is where our cows live. And all our cows live over there. And it was a very big place. There was a mountain as well. And he said, uh, over there, around the corner, I have, uh, I've got um, chickens. And I was visiting. And um, he said, let me show you a kitchen. A garden. And so we went. And it's where the garden, there were uh, tomatoes and onions. And other, and other um, greens that were planted. Just some greens that were um, planted, they normally eat it in a week. No, no. And I, when I looked at that house, I saw it was a very nice developed house. And everything was nice, nicely done. And uh, everything was a very nice house. And I asked him, I said, this uh, old lady in this house and has all of these things. Why? And he said, ask her, she will tell you. He said, ask her, she has news. So I asked her, and she said, those cows, my second child, I used to uh, uh, ask milk for him. I used to beg milk for him. But I taught him, make sure he was educated. And once he became older, the government gave him a job. And he left that job, went to another job, and his third job, he became a minister. 
Amaze kuwa ministry. And after he became a minister, umushara wa mbele. His first payment, ya uguze mu inkazine zinzungu. He bought four uh, cows. Aravuga ngo kuko nyina yigeze gusaba amata. He said because my mom used to beg for milk for me. Ngo akwiye gutegura abandi baza gusaba nyina amata. I need to buy cows so that others will come and beg for milk from her. Kuko nyina yasabye bakamuha. Because his mom begged and she was given. Akwiye gutegura nyina nawe gutanga amata. Um, he prepared his mom to be able to give milk to others. And his daughter, his daughter, his third daughter, akora muri droit de l'homme muri America. Worked in America. Ati i i gikogwa ya kora gamuri Kenya. And the things that she used to do in Kenya. Yaturuza ginyanya. She used to sell tomatoes. Amaze kuwa na kazi muni na siozin. And once she fought, she got a job in America. Yake ne gushiri la nyanya ni na karima kenya nyaho half. She wanted to uh, build a, a garden of tomatoes Ati for her mom. Atingi ngizi mboga za half. And she said I'll, be, I'll make Amaza a garden for you. Amaza kusa ni I'll make a garden for you. And Uza. whoever come for uh, tomatoes. Uza wahi. Give them. Hara mapapai, hari nyanya, hari mbutozni, hara mapera, hari mindu jinshi kabisa, nigindu kivu anka hanidi. It was a really, really big field. Umuhungu wanyuma. And his, her last son. Niwe ngo wagezu voma. Is the one who used to fetch for water. Kuwera kuko ya jaga kuvoma kuri. And because she, he used to go to fetch from watch, for water from a long time. Habi kindu vaza vita muri Kenya ngo ni mukogoteni. From the well. Mukogoteni si kinga kandi si moto. Oh, um. <laughs> it's like a bag that was made by wood, I think. Yeah. And they use the they push it to go and um get water. And so that son used to push it all the times, and he became his, he got a really sore bag. Guarangi is a caminos. And after he finished his university, he said to his mom, I'm going to bring a well here and build it here. He built that house and brought wells, taps in the wall in the house. He said, you no longer worry with bringing water, fetching for water. And I said, how are you? She said, I am receiving. This house I live in it. And the money to rent for it. Uh, I, I gave it to my kids. I've used all my strength on them. Now they're paying for me everything I've done for them. So I'm encouraging you to look after your kids and one day they will help you. We need to the value of the parent and of a child. No, no, no. no. A child is a blessing. If they don't do good, you need to know that there is something you didn't do right. Because the children learn how to do good. But you need to prepare them. Daily and night, so that they will uh, help you in the future. I was talking to my daughter and she said to me, I'm going to give you a car and you can drive it. I was talking to my son and Bella yesterday and, and he was telling me he's going to buy me a very special car when I go, get older. Don't say that kids are not a blessing. They are a blessing. Let's pray for them so they can become blessings. They have a battle they fight against Satan. But let's tell God to bring our, our blessing. This is the... Um, News of today. Are you all happy? Are you all happy? Are you happy? Is everyone happy? Raise your hand and say, I'm happy. One, two, three, say it. I'm happy. What does I'm happy mean? I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I told you to say I'm happy. So where did I'm happy come from? Do you know that that's what it means? That it means I'm, ha I'm, I'm happy means I'm happy? Should we all just say I'm happy then in English? Amen. May God bless you all.
The children need to know that they are a blessing. Um, who knows a man called Kivu and Ed? Tamu tuzi muntu witwa Kivu yedimo. Oh, somebody called Kivu yedimo. muri vivant. Tawo ba muzi. Does anyone know him? Haru muzi muri mwe. Do you know him? When he got married, they went to buy a cake. And the person who knew how to bake a cake was, the, was late. And he was very upset. He was really, really upset. His mom didn't know how to bake. As you know, cake is more of um, a westernized thing. <laughs> if you haven't seen a cake, you're going to see a cake on my um, anniversary. And because they were in a wedding, um, the wife saw his, her husband being upset because of the cake. They, they got married, but the cake was really late. When they got the first child, the wife had a holiday from work. And she used to hide. Um, there, was a w there was a white person with a restaurant over there, so she would go there. And they taught her how to cook and how to bake a cake. And she learned how to bake a cake and became very great at it. And she started um, uh, baking by herself. One day she said to her husband, she said, today you'll be with me all day. And they spend the day together. And she prepared all of these things. And she, um, she finished everything. And she said to him, I want to show you that the cake that made you upset on our wedding day that I can make it today as well. And everything that you will do and you will need a cake. Ask me, uh, ask me and I'll be able to bake it. And what he told her, uh, he said that now I've just found out that Isaac will um, reduce the grief of Isaac uh, of, uh, <laughs> of Sarah and Ibrahim. Ngaya makuru. These are the news. Whatever we do well will bring a blessing. A child is a blessing. Children are a blessing to us. We are finished. And we thank you. May you